is interested where um, Jamie's brother might be. That's the snake. Huh. You think you think your brother made? It? Could um, have just like probably. grabbed the escape while he ran. It's it's possible. Also, uh, what kind of what class is your brother? It's hard to say, really. I don't know. Because he wasn't built yet? <laughs> he hasn't been built. He was just an NPC I came up with. <laughs> like, yeah, Damien had a brother. No. They didn't like each other. Sometimes. He made him marry the ugly bride. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. He was like, no. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> so, so for stream, uh, the uh, story behind Damien, he's the younger son in a noble family. He's supposed to marry an ugly bri bride of a very wealthy family, and he just ran away. <laughs> and he just went, brother marry no. her. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> no. All right, so the, the older brother was forced to marry the younger ugly sister. The imp, the imp, uh, um, the van imp, imp badge. Is a slotless item. It grants a plus two um, profane bonus versus poison, Ooh. and has a constant endure elements. <gasps> Magnus wants. You know that this was a gift to your brother from your father on one of his on his sixteenth birthday. Magnus takes, <laughs> uh, and that may have been worn by explorers of your family. Magnus is taking the item. No, no. If it's if it's Damien's, uh, if it's Dave's, uh, Magnus, oh, is that what any of the uh, stuff is? Yeah, so we'll start with that. Uh, no, Magnus doesn't know. But once it's identified, he'll be like, "Oh, I just did that." Hmm, these chips are stale. Mm, yummy. Hashtag first world problems, yo. <clears throat> Alright, well, what is the item of, of consternation? It, oh, it's a slotless um, pin or badge. Of, it's a van badge. It gives a plus two profane bonus versus poison and a constant injury. I don't know why Magnus wants that. But that's like shinies. <laughs> it gets handed to Damien. He's a Van Imp. I mean, <clears throat> if unless, yeah. unless, unless you're welcoming the into the family, Damien. <laughs> you know what? He, he says, uh, I already have a constant endure element system in my other items. Do you want to show that? Fuck these guys, isn't he? <laughs> and I'm just going to come through the go Goombas when we take on the boss. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All twelve, all, all nine of them. <laughs> Probably saved Damien from being murdered. Ah, like, ah, ah. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Shoko's like, oh shit, you can see me. <laughs> oh, shit. That, was, that was a fun. Uh... That was funny. Well, so Van Imp family. Crest. Just copy and paste it from the master's loot. Oh. It's already there. <clears throat> okay, I, I was there. It wasn't. Maybe I'm waiting for the thing to sink. I wasn't seeing it. Okay, I, and I grabbed the fun book, which is the 3.5 magic item book that has all sorts of weird shit in it. So we're gonna roll. Let me calculate the CR for the combined Girlins. This is awesome. My, they uh, are CR sixes. My circum my my, uh, my total bonus. Versus poison now is a plus eleven conditional bonus versus poison. <laughs> uh, Basically, don't try to poison a shark. Eight. <laughs> how does it go? You double and add one. Is that kind of how it goes? Uh, for CR. The CR. Yeah. Uh, uh no. Uh, double is add two. Really? What was that? Yeah, double doubles plus two CR. Hmm. Right. So if you do um like uh. 
four CR2s is a CR5. Okay, for treasure, I'm going to do it because it's magical treasure. You already got some loot. I'm going to do double add one. So, <clears throat> uh, uh, it's fine. I, whatever. It's just yeah. Uh, so that would be seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to give you a roll on the eighth level table, the ninth level table, and the tenth level table. Hearing Robo Marty. Sorry, man. I, I heard it. Eighth level, ninth level, something, something. Eighth level table, ninth level. No, ninth level. Eighth level table, ninth level table, and the tenth level table. Cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> since we're on the the uh, the, the Mulgra Damien quest, uh, he can do the tenth. Okay. Uh, Magnus, do you want to do or, uh, or Ahmed? Do you want to do the ninth? I'll do the eighth. Okay, give me an eighth. All right. One to one hundred. Eleven. Uh, sorry, I just saw your message, Nemi, and as I was refreshing, you're asking if it was a troop or a gang? And then you said, what do you mean? What do you mean Magnus needs a friend? He's got an entire ludus of gladiators that love him. Uh... That he's been ignoring. He's trying to he's trying to sever ties. He's trying to be so antisocial that they don't miss him when he goes on a fucking rampage. On fucking quest. Okay guys, I'm just gonna go <clears throat> off, uh, like a you know, I'll kill it will be back. <laughs> okay. <Damn> it, Magnus. <laughs> These are called the um it's actually my shoulder. Boots of the Puma Lord. Constant. Move through. Any difficult terrain. Those are pretty good for the jungle. Yo. Yeah, I'd say. Without penalty. We'll call this old magic that it will be very difficult to reproduce. Otherwise, we're okay. going to put them on all the gladiators and we'll do Oh, look! Only. My turn! <laughs> Unaffected <laughs> by slippery terrain. And a plus two sacred uh, bonus on CMD versus Bullrush. And trip, or is it? Um, sure, and trip, those seem to go together. Plus a rock strider. <sighs> why not? Uh, magical um, damage from impeding spells still applies. Still get stabbed by Spike Stone. Yeah. Okay, those are the boots of the Puma Lord. Uh, and it kind of hints that these boots were, were made quite a long time ago, and we'll say that without having really a lot of uh, knowledge about what rubber is, magical rubber was used in their creation, and they look like they're like made from the uh, uh, from the hide of some of some beautiful bluish uh a black I'm just puma. Imagining they're, your they're Crocs. Yeah. They're Crocs. They're a pair of Crocs. <laughs> no, they're, they're knee high boots. <laughs> okay, those, no, those are awesome. Those are like, look, look, they made some crocodiles. <laughs> All right, that was the eighth level table. Let's move on to the ninth level table. D100? Yep. And this is me on the fly converting uh, the 3.5, 3.0 bullshit. I'm uh, 377. That sounds really good. <laughs> wow, he, he jumped tables all the way into an epic table. It's weird. <laughs> I don't do uh, ninth level tables. I do uh, 12 level tables. 12 level tables. So Yuri, Yuri showed up. I <laughs> it is a fun accent to do, yeah. Uh, 
Look at that. Uriate. Magnus. 77 on the ninth level table. Yeah. Ooh, I like these. Uh, one of the axes had a crystal stuck to it. I love the crystals. It was a human bane crystal. <clears throat> you get whacked by that one. Fifteen axes and a human bane crystal. Holy fuck. Okay. Uh, the DC of identifying this one is... Like 15 plus spell level? Is that it? Or double spell level? Yeah, spell uh, level. Yeah, caster level, I mean. I think it's 24. Could be 33. Okay, we'll, we can roll. There's a plus yep. 23. 43. My boy. Okay, it is a greater demon slaying weapon crystal. First off, plus 1d6 uh, damage to evil outsiders. It is tr the weapon. Weapon is treated as good aligned. It's against evil outsiders, not chaotic evil outsiders. No, just uh, a fiend slaying is actually what it's called. Okay, well that's because of, yeah. Okay. Uh, weapon is treated as good aligned, and then on a critical hit. The fiend cannot use its. <laughs> Nemi's like, oh fuck. Spell like teleport power <laughs> for one for one d three rounds. One d three rounds. No, getting away. No, you don't. Yeah. This is where it, like. We're in we're in deep nowhere, just, rooting through ancient ruins, fighting horrible enemies, and finding magic that isn't common at all. You're picking up the purples. You're picking up the rares. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think that one is just gonna stay there for a bit until we figure out what we're gonna use that for. Huh? Yeah. How about we stay? There? How about we keep it on my? Let me tell you what we're using it for. <laughs> we're using it for Caleb Goodman unless he falls in line. <laughs> That's kind of the. That's one way to use it. Yep. Uh, we'll say the plus one d six damage to outsiders stacks with Bane. Oh, nice, Caleb Goodman. <clears throat> oh, you're such an asshole, Caleb Goodman. All right, and that was on the ninth level table. Would you like to roll on the tenth level table, Mark? Yay. And you find a plus one spoon. Yay! <laughs> nope, it's just plus one. <laughs> oh, I call it eye scoop. <laughs> What's fun about these is like you read it's like such and such of the blood lord. I have no idea what this means. I have no idea what this means. Let's have a let's have a look. Wow, I, I, that's weird. I opened up the book randomly, and it's on the page where the thing is. Oh, yeah, it is weird. Let's find our thing.
to eye stabbing. Creepy sweep. Creepy. Oh, weird. Yeah, these items we should wear right now. Not like, oh, uh, we've got these treasures. We'll just. Okay, you inside. find something that. Um, might be a minor artifact because it's hard to read. Hmm. It's the rock. No, it, they look like um, a really strange left-handed heavy spiked gauntlet of overlapping plates of ancient looking metal. It looks like it's been chewed, chewed through a hundred battles and is still somehow functioning. It's oozing blood, yet there's no hand or anything in it. And you can give me a knowledge religion check. It, it, you're kind of getting magic kind of leaking from it, but it's not divulging its secrets. This sounds like an artifact that I made custom yeah. for a campaign a while back. And uh, maybe some picture like, something like one of those gauntlets. And that's precise. I, I'm starting to I'm have a weird... Weird <clears throat> thoughts. All right. Uh, I'm not, I'm not shit Twenty. Uh, our our spellcraft didn't do it, so so we needed knowledge religion. You think? Know, yeah. My knowledge religion role was that. Well, you know. I will take twenty, and I'll get a three. Okay. It is a minor artifact to the Hextorian religion. Uh, there are six in total in all the multiverse. That they're good for punching. <laughs> um, this particular artifact is called the Gauntlet of the Blood Lord. And you know that powerful priests um, have used it before. Oh, uh, Nam, it was, it's a minor artifact uh, uh, of, of Hextor. <laughs> yeah. It was buffering. He used that. <laughs> um, you're guessing that only those who are blessed by Hextor, who worship him, or um, uh, who are in, probably need to be evil could unlock its true powers. Um, you're guessing that it is a plus one spiked gauntlet to anyone else? Well, how is Hextor in the Empire? It's lawful evil, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's just lumped in with all the other gods and is on the decline, like all the others. Perhaps we know someone who can do something with it. And if not, I'm sure we can get a nice reward from the church. Yes. The only Hexterite that you guys knew escaped from your Ludus. Yes. We're, we're not going to capture him to go here. I'm, or maybe we do. Depends how powerful of an artifact we're talking here. <laughs> Shove this on your hand and... Oh, six in total in the multiverse seems much. There were probably six on Tarak, because the uh, the old god pantheon was important here. Yeah. Six per realm. Mm -hmm. There might be ways of tricking the artifact. You know, use magic device might be able to trick you know trick it into thinking that you're uh, for sure a worshiper. Yeah, I'm not. Sure. What is the um? Damien's got a little wisdom. What's the DC <laughs> of... Like, how hard is it to trick items? Or... Can I look up the skill mark? Yeah, please, go ahead. You look at the, the skill. Because a highly charismatic character with max ranks in, uh, in use magic device might be the right type of person to do that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But it looks like it hurts when you put that on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no spikes on the inside, it's just you don't know where the blood's coming from. Uh... 
Um, so to emulate an alignment is DC 30. Um, which he can do. To emulate a class feature is DC 20, which he does automatically. And then activate blindly, he uses a DC 25, which he makes. <clears throat> so so Damien's sticking his hand in? Yeah, and then he pulls the Yeah, he tries to pull his hand out. Okay, well, you, you put your hand in. What kind of caster are you? Say again? What kind of caster are you? Arcane. Yeah, I cast Arcane spell. <clears throat> Give me a spellcraft roll. That's not. Nah, it's kind of messy, and you you take your hand out of it. It's covered My with this weird... blood. Yep. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Pass it to me. Okay. He hands it to you, like. I st <laughs> still got the heroism running. We're gonna try to emulate a. I, I am a Hextorian priest, didn't you know? Mm -hmm. uh, my alignment is already lawful evil, so <laughs> that part should be all right. Okay, um, so you're trying to trick the artifact into thinking that you are uh, the proper worshiper? <clears throat> yep. Give me a roll. Okay. Uh, and I was trying to figure out why my computer was acting funny. I accidentally had two extra windows of the stream running in the background. <laughs> um, Alright. Uh, so, 46. Alright, you you have a bunch of flashes of previous owners of this and uh, some person with the same shade of skin as Akka standing before a village of his enemies as, as, as they're being uh, uh, pushed onto bamboo stakes um, uh, as, as he was anointing this gauntlet uh, before it had its power to try to attract Hextor's attention. Apparently it worked. Uh, you know that you have a plus two luck bonus when channeling touch spells, when actually doing touch spells. And those touch spells, at least for this day, are all considered empowered without increasing the caster level. Oh. We'll be keeping this. <laughs> uh, As you could see that this, this priest or wizard priest kind of was walking along and doing uh, inflict... Uh, uh, horrible wounds on people's heads as, oh, as other soldiers were... The war priest of Hextor. Oh my god. Uh, you get the sense that you have to sacrifice something of yourself to gain this power truly. Uh, you think that for the next, we'll say, eight hours, I don't know if it says in the skill how long you trick it for. I think it's... It might be an hour. Uh... Or every time you activate the power, do you need to? Uh, give me a second. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll peruse this for, yep. for the next question mark time. Yeah. It feels like to activate the empowered spell, you might have to make your roll every time, kind of like you're fiddling with a wand. Uh, but for the mm -hmm. plus two to just do touch spells with plus a plus two luck bonus is seems seems like a twenty four hour thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't attempt within 24 hours if you fail. You can only emulate one... You can only be emulating one thing at a time. Um, or one race at a time. These are melee touch spells. Now, here's the fun part. Ask me how many melee touch spells I have. Why would you, why would you get into combat in that 
<laughs> That's how I build mine. Why am I getting that close? <laughs> I already made a boo boo. Uh, well, in case you're threatened or whatever, I, like a, a, a shocking grass. Yeah, a good. shocking grass. Yeah. Okay, true worshippers of Hexdoor must be evil, is effectively the, uh, the, the thing. Rules. Yep. <clears throat> oh, we need to pick ourselves up a magnet. Put that on him. Yes. So this is his shocking grasp from stabbing someone. Or just, get, or just get Ashoka to learn a touch spell. Or learn a touch spell, jackass. Yeah. I'll play with all the lawful evil artifacts you want. That's fine. I'll even play with the... I'll play with all the enemy artifacts, <laughs> frankly, as long as I think I'll get yeah. away with it. Once, once I've got my skill high enough, I will kill a paladin and take it to Holy Avenger. Alright. Kill a paladin with the Holy Avenger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you, you, find some, you find some unique sweet. treasure. Magnus is looking at the boots. Like, look, put, uh... Put the boots on. You want me to copy pasta the boots to Magnus? Uh, it's okay, I got it. Alright, too late. Yeah, no, but it's... Yes. Uh, I'm gonna take this Gauntlet of the Bloodlord. I can use it for now. Oh. Damien, you deal with a lot of evil shit. I Why don't you take the gem? <laughs> what? Take the gem, put it on your stabby, your little star. Yes, that's, that is appropriate. We just want oh, to not forget I it. I then. told you. No, I won't. Uh, can someone just copy past that sure. on my character sheet for me, please? Cause uh, no problem, man. I got it. Thank you. So, um, I told you, adventuring. It's full of it's full of wealth. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> oh, I suppose we could use this axe. Yes, but but it's it's not as crunchy. It's more hacky. Yeah, what about this shield? I don't know, I don't want to use the shield. Well, no, but we, uh, we do, uh, uh... Uh, which rapier? Plus three? Oh, yeah, the, the indictment. Leaf Axe Stones! I will play Leaf Axe Stones! Yes. It is a very good shield. Well, you see, the axe cuts the leaf, the leaf covers the stone, and the stone smashes the axe! Hmm. That sounds very appropriate. Mm. On three, shall we? For what? Well, no, we are talking about who's a shield. I would like to... I'd like to observe, if that's alright. Oh. Alright, you can be the judge. Uh. <laughs> Magnus falls, breaks his leg. Oh my god, why? <laughs> <laughs> Um, from this from this point, hilarious. after a few days, uh, you you think you can see the summit of the of the mountain from yeah, this I'm clearing. Just scouting now. <laughs> if we can see the summit, and we're at the bottom, I think we can then use spells to get there. Yep. Yeah. This this particular elevation broke through the. Uh, 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 no, broke through the the canopy cover, and and uh, you're close enough to the peak of the mountain to see it. Cool. All right, uh, we'll we'll use like we'll get a see if we can buy a spot that looks like it's okay to sort of stand on. We'll yeah, give me give me a perception check as you guys are surveying. All right. Uh, Sid, I will help. Thing. Okay, Sid, Sid can get a plus four or because he's flying up as a bat and he's having to look. Damien 25. Perception. Sid with his bug eyes. Uh, 30, actually 36 as a, no, is yeah, 36 as a bat. Wow. Not 20. Twenty-six. All right. So Sid Sid flies back down and reports that he saw something that no one else did, 
and he's pointing to the top of the uh, to the top of the mountain um, that is called. What was it? Again? It's the same day or next day. This is two days later, right? Yeah, this is about like two, three days, three days later. Okay, I'm just resetting my spells. Okay. Oh, uh, this is the same day as the fighting with the gorillas. Okay, that's uh, the same day yeah. as gorillas. Okay. Yeah. Uh, or the Girolins, or whatever they're called. Um, um, you you are lining up with your maps and your knowledge of the geography that this is probably you're you're staring at Golsogek. Golsogek near its summit uh, has a tiny bit of a flat top. You were able to see Sid, and you saw some like stony ruins that. Um, they're not walls, but they are geometric. Like there might have been a structure at the top at some point. The top is flat. Um, from from the vantage point on the ground, the the guys who were rolling uh, uh, Ashoka, Damian, Magnus can't quite see the flat top. Now I saw the spot we were supposed to go to. It's up there, has some trees. Can you point it out to me? But how far up is it? I think you can reach it with your spells. I'm assuming it's like thousands of feet away. Yep. No, no, no. This is 24, like 20 miles away. Okay. Good. Uh, hmm. I can try to shortcut us there. Um, it will be taxing. No. If you can get us to the top, see that tip over there? It's a structure. some structures, or it used to be. <laughs> Is it possible to see here from there? I could. Here, look. He'll, he'll, he'll draw the sketch. Point to it. There. Oh. <laughs> there. No, 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 that's not what I mean. Um, I will need to do two trips to get everyone there. Uh, let's get, is this place, can we get to a nice clearing where it's easy to see? It's 20 miles away, so you are in the clearing where you can see. It's just, yeah, from your vantage no. point down, you're, you're not seeing the, the flat part. When you flew high up in the air, you could see it. Uh, okay, is there a spot that we can fix from Sid's high advantage? I, I just want to make certain when I teleport back, I want to know where I, to come back to. So if we start a fire here, there should be some smoke, which might help. Uh, yeah, you've also yeah, been here same once. Same thing. Yeah, big bonfire should do it. Yeah, so we start a fire here. And okay. We'll <laughs> One burnt forest later. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a rainforest. This shit's already burned down. <laughs> uh, you are able to gather up enough of wood. It looks like these creatures did not, like, they didn't cook their meat. Uh, they didn't have need for fire. They had. They like sashimi. Yep. Like uh, <laughs> mammal sashimi. Um, you are able to create a big bonfire. Oh, it's sort of warm for a fire, don't you think? Oh, I think you're making a fire for a different reason. We seem to be making a lot of smoke. We're making a signal fire. A signal fire for what? Don't ask mm. the wizard questions. He's got a purpose. All right, gentlemen. Um, who's going first? Uh, <laughs> you see, Gosh raises his hand, but Trono doesn't. What, what, we we we're volunteering now. There could be skulls for us to smash. Hmm. All right, both of them are raising their arms. <laughs> Hashtag head and life. Head and life. Uh, Sid, Damien, Magnus, you first. Sure. Right. Tend the fire. I shall be back in a few moments. Right. Shook is going to make himself invisible before going, because... <laughs> Magnus, <laughs> can, can Magnus and Sid have recreated their... Uh, uh, Mutagen? Mutagens? Takes an hour. Yep. While you guys are going through treasure. Show. Yeah. yeah. And right. uh, Damien busy. is also casting invisibility. <laughs> So it's just Magnus arriving with a teleport. 
Well, maybe it's Sid, but who's going to basically be yeah. invisible from the. No, Sid, Sid's a little bat. Okay. So. Then. Alright, teleport to the edge of the thing that I can see. Okay, you're kind of like, yeah, just row over the edge, and there's like some weird flat part that kind of is visible, and and uh, you can see it, so you're not going to like fuck up. It's just you might not like where you're at. Might not be arrive. a good spot to be when we get there. Yep. Next is like, okay, go on now. Okay, so Magnus, Damien, Sid. Sid is tiny or yeah. diminutive. Is it tiny? Tiny. Tiny, okay. And uh, Ashoka is. Ashoka, Damien, are invisible. In Mirkerborg. In Mirkerborg. Okay. And you've got a massive campfire, yep. which I could grab from the jungle encounter. And bring it back to. Yeah, the, whatever is left of the tribe of this island shows up and it thinks Tronagosh is a god for slaying the Karelian men. <laughs> right, he's just... <laughs> just wandering. wandering it with my shield. <laughs> wandering Don't around. Wandering with my shield. <laughs> wearing all the jewelry <laughs> from, from, the, from the big forearm thing. It's like, <laughs> two heads are better than four arms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, so Ashoka uh, brings his little group and teleports to. I'm going to Fog of War and then enforce. Now the thing is, when we get to the top of there, we're not teleporting everyone away, just in case we're wondering. Okay, you kind of teleported to the edge of what looks like a, uh, a multi-tiered but pretty much leveled city. Like, time has not been kind to whatever this is. That's Machu Picchu, right? Uh, I actually don't know. Okay, I think that's Machu Picchu. It's really pretty. That looks um, I want to go there. Yeah, this is the highest regional point. And you can see that there, there might actually be some like little structures up here. Uh, there are some winding steps crumbling, overgrown. Uh, this place has a like a feeling of much has happened here before, and um, it was a long ago. Yeah. Okay, Magnus Shoka. starts climbing. Uh, uh, Shoka will then teleport back if there's no immediate threats. Oh yeah, Trinogosh isn't there. And okay, go in. He'll teleport back, like, Okay, you, you, you kind of you're kind of looking around. and You're like, oh, there's there's the the, the the trail of smoke, and you're like, I want to teleport just where the yeah. trail of smoke is, uh, and really smart because otherwise, you know, it's kind of where the fuck was I? I don't know somewhere on the <laughs> yeah over in that green swath over there. Um, okay, so Magnus is starting to climb. So it looks like he's flying off. Ashoka is teleporting back. Damien, where are you going? Shoka, you teleport back. Uh, Tronogosh doesn't notice you. He's just sort of like, they're 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 looking at their weapons. All right. My hand, Tronogosh. Well, uh, there's the wizard's back. Where are you? Right here. All right. Can't see you. Can you see him, Trono? Can't see him, Gosh. Don't worry, I'm here for you. All right. So. We've got a question for you. Why are you being so nice to us? Because I like you. Both of you. Alright. It's good to have friends. Better friends than you were in that dingy place. Those fuckers you're, f you're traveling with are pretty, pretty, uh, lethal set of killers. Yeah, they're pretty good with that sword. Hey. You want to tell Magnus Force that we didn't mean anything about, uh, about Minimus? I'll let him know. He's... He can get very angry sometimes. Yeah, we noticed. He was killing them faster than it was good. Well, some of that's just a question of having the right gear. Oh, we get you the right magics. Ooh. 
What? I suppose. Get yeah, some armor, some bit of weapons. This axe is a bit small. <laughs> Waving it around. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that we would make a very good team. Brains, brawn, more brawn. What? He's the brains of the operation. It's gonna be fun making this character because it's like, oh, he's two into one. He's well, yeah, the gest like I am the rogue and I'm the fighter. <laughs> we shall sneak no way to fight. <laughs> sneak attack with one arm, a power attack with the other. Uh, all right. And they're both sorcerers. So or alchemists. So where are we going? Up to the up to the mountain there. Yes. All right. Watch your step. It's very steep up there. They look at their feet. Okay. So we'll just teleport them up. Okay. They're still looking at their feet, and they teleport up. After that short conversation, Magnus and Damien have made a good good progress up to this area with a bunch of like ruins that have been toppled over. Sid is sort of flying off to the side. And you notice that whatever Magnus and Damien did, um, the entire top of this place is kind of like shaking. And instead of boulders, instead of boulders rolling in, they're rolling up the hill into the center somewhere, and they seem to be gathering into a form. I don't know what it is, but it sounds awesome. Magnus, go play it. <laughs> I'll hang out down here. <laughs> We're out of bark skin. We're out of bark. It's going to be a massive earth elemental or something. It's the biggest earth elemental you've ever seen. Or an army of them. If this was Pathfinder 2nd Ed, it would be a TPK. TPK, because the earth elementals are so scary. So bad. <laughs> okay. Give me a second. I gotta find this thing. Um. Whenever things start rolling uphill, there's an issue. This was to the left. I'm trying to remember something from a long, long time ago. Um, look soft. <laughs> those, those things. No. Sun. Okay, just going to do a quick search here. I'm sure you guys got this. We'll just hang out at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> The Breaker doesn't like fighting things with out discernible anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Show me where your heart is. I will still stab you there. Although the guy with invisibility might just have a fun time going, Go get a Magnus, it is real funny. Stab that <laughs> rocky bastard. Like, he doesn't have the stones for it. Or some nonsense like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, perform mime. <laughs> perform balloon animal. Or would that be perform party clown? Which I guess would be perform comedy. Making a token. I was gonna Making do, a token. I was gonna do something and I'm like, nah, this is a better idea. 
bullets. I need bullets everywhere. I need to quickly grab some meds. Oh, shit. Damn you. <laughs> Okay, um, there are three things that seem to be forming. Actually, no, we'll just make it one. There's one thing that is forming. appropriate and we're gonna roll some initiatives while we're waiting we're gonna remove the gear ones and the gear and alphas and we're gonna add we're gonna, we're gonna add the um, we're gonna call it the Colossus elder the colossal elder that's awesome Two to his initiative. Uh, if you're looking for um, some cool, like elemental and elemental hybrid sort of models and picks, the Soul Eaters in the God of War game, God of War Four, mm -hmm. is very cool, and it looks kind of similar to that actually. Okay, Ashoka and Sid rolled ones, and Trinogash rolled a six. I just rolled initiatives for you to speed this up. Thank you. You're quite Thanks. welcome. Okay, so Damien and, and Magnus must have triggered something, because as they were traveling up, uh, the whole place started to shudder and shake, and the rocks seemed to be rolling into the center of the ruins of this place. Uh, and there is a confluence of weird golden magic where all the rocks are floating around and constantly moving and shifting and coming off of it and and uh, and moving uh, and moving back <clears throat> um, there is a absolute it is not huge it is colossal there is an absolute monstrosity of a strange elemental golem thing that is now like rising up from the ruins uh, Ashoka and Tronogosh. Oh, what's that? You hear you hear their voice from behind, and Damien, you were the first to act. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Damien's like, what was that about adventuring again? <laughs> so, revenge feels a lot like adventuring, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a weird darkening to the sky as well like a storm is coming out of nowhere okay um 
Damien now, Damien and Magnus now notice like the pulverized bits of bird pecked over perhaps sailors. There's like three or four of them in the rubble. <laughs> Rotting bones in the sun. Trail. Good news is run right trail. Bad news is this might be where it ends. Uh so the tongues last for an hour and forty minutes. You searched through the treasure for uh, 20 minutes. The battle took one, and and, uh, and you the were there for an hour. an hour. Which was part of that treasure time, so... What did he say? You are trespassing. Askosokic. Bow down and bring your sacrifice to the Lord Obsidian. Oh, look at, uh, looking for a sacrifice. Oh, this is... Oh, balls. Wait, how many minutes has it been? An hour and 20? Yep. Oh, 10 minute spells are still... Uh, 10 minute per level spells are still running. Yes. Sacrifice. <laughs> See the two headed thing back there? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> Bad Magnus. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What? Only one person here has paperwork suggesting that they are <laughs> their property. Damien, what are you doing? You're the first to act in the initiative. Yep. Damien taking his mutagen. Okay. Already. Oh my god. Magnus? <sighs> And starting the bard song. Okay, Damien, what kind? What is? What is? What is the bard song? What is the form of the bard song, Damien? This isn't so bad. It's, it could be much worse. It could be large, larger. <laughs> Look, it's gonna okay. be the hit. It's it's oratory, giving inspiration to the troops, <laughs> also That's making right. noise. <clears throat> Question for me: How how long? How many rounds did it take the thing to form? One round? Yeah, you, you, you guys were it's climbing. Talking, it's so, forming. Yeah. yeah. Your go. <clears throat> okay, Magnus is going to drink a. Um, no, he's going to use his uh, rogue, his shadow duplicate, and create a. An image. Yeah. A single mirror image. Okay. It's. Uh, So, are you talking yeah. Shadow Duplicate the rogue power? Yeah, I thought it was... Um... Once per day is an immediate action. When the rogue is hit, you can create a single Shadow Duplicate as per mirror image. Stack the mirror image one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. Magnus is pulling out a, a mirror image potion and drinking it. Okay, for an action, drink a mirror image potion. Roll a d4 plus one. Unless it's from Sid. And I actually, yeah, Alchemists mm -hmm. thankfully don't it's have not, mirror this images. Is, this is Magnus's potion that he bought. Okay. The Earth Elemental is still forming and still talking. Mortals. Um, stream. I'm getting the broadcast you're watching has ended. Mm. Stream is. I see my. Chuckly mug. Yay! Okay, Magnus gets mind. more than one. I'm not getting any drop frames on my end. I don't see any. All right. It's running. There we go. Great Magnus has four images. You must sacrifice to him of the obsidian. It has been too long. It is demanded. He is Lord of the Night. Uh, he's blather. He, he's talking about an obsidian god. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Now 
me. It's not my turn. <laughs> I really need Magnus not to die because I, I have actually no way to hurt this thing. <laughs> oh no. The question is, does that gem seem to work on this thing? Or not? You think it's a demon? I don't think so. It's probably just an earth elemental, but that's one big fucking earth elemental. <laughs> It could be an outsider too. Uh, big hmm. rock, baby. Swift action, spring. Stance. Mm hmm. I'm assuming that Damien also went into his stance. Yeah, he went into his stance, started a bard song, and took his uh, mutagen. Okay. <coughs> you guys are gonna fight a huge rock. Trunagosh. He's huffing up the 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 side. Run up the hill. Let's do about here. Oh, it's, it looks pretty big. It also looks pretty angry, and it's got a strange yellow center like a yolk. Yep, there's something definitely golden and streaming with light at the center of the torrent of stone. Sid. Hmm. <clears throat> Sid's going to, um, <sighs> he's going to fly to the opposite side. <laughs> oh, what's my speed? Is this, uh, ooh, bird, bird. Let's see, how we check? How we check? Probably gonna wait for a haste from Damien and then go. Shoka. Mm -hmm. uh, Shoka is. Are you, so you're delaying, Sid, or are you I'm ready? Delaying, I'm delaying until okay. till I get a, a haste. Shoka? Shoka's gonna cast a fly spell and is gonna fly up. Oh well, I don't know. Okay, are you staying off the ground? Uh, yes. Okay, Damien. Alright, um, I can't see the map at this point. Is everyone close enough for a haste spell? Uh, you can't see Ashoka, but you can see Magnus, Sid, and Trinogosh all clustered in for a haste spell. Okay, he'll move towards them. You're already yeah, there. You're already there. You're right. And uh, he casts uh, haste. Okay, you have a haste today? No, Another one? I do. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Sid's gonna move. Magnus. Oh, yeah, delay. So uh, Sid now moves. So Sid's initiative raises to 19. Let's let you roll the 15. I'll reorder. Ten. Oh, I know that thing. It doesn't have a skull. Okay, so you're flapping around your little bat. Um, you're not invisible, right? Nope. Okay. the The elemental kind of shifted slightly as it as it was looking in your general direction as you're flying around. I'm gonna stealth and see how this thing reacts. Later, much better. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. It, it doesn't completely turn around. You get a sense that the front of it is the weird crack where the golden light is inside. Mm -hmm. Um. Sid, give me a perception check as you flew around it and we're having a look. Okay. 15. Okay, you didn't quite see and you didn't quite get any additional detail about what was at the center of it. Uh, Magnus. <clears throat> Hmm. I just need to drink a potion. Okay, like the beginning of every fight, the mm -hmm. potions are being drunk. Colossal Elder. Which one of the mortals have you brought to give to the creature of this land, to the creature of this world? 
uh, only Ashoka understands its words. Uh, it's it's speaking in multiple tongues at the same time, and you're all translating them to the same message. Cool. And it's holding out its hand like it, it's waiting for like the sacrifice to step before this creature. <laughs> Magnus, there's an opening. You should attack it. <laughs> Yeah, Magnus, Magnus, like, Magnus hears like multiple like did he hear what you just described like multiple yeah languages. multiple languages um one of them is Akka one of them is the sound of grinding rock in patterns mm -hmm. and a third is a language you just you just don't you just don't understand If you think you have any languages that fit the first two, let me know. Otherwise, it's the comprehend languages that Ashoka is the saving grace. Uh, it is just waiting. Tronogosh. Well, what what we what we gonna do against it? He moves up to beside Magnus. Magnus, what we gonna do against it? Same thing we always do, Pinky. <laughs> oh, he called us Pinky. He realized he's more pink than we all. Just shut up. He's, he's, he's Magnus, not Minimus. Okay, uh, Tronogosh just readies in action, I guess. Ashoka? Okay. Uh, Ashoka is going to cast an arcane sight and concentrate on the thing. Okay. How many rounds before you know? Immediately, it's Arcane Sight. <laughs> okay, give me a perception check. Uh, right. Uh, or, sorry, give me a second. Uh, if, it's, if it's two creatures, I think it acts differently. Uh, so, when you concentrate, it acts as if you did three rounds of Detect Magic. And it tells you the highest spell level. How far thing. away do you have to be from it? 120 feet. Nice. Okay, my perception check is... Drakester, how's it going? Uh, was that a heroism or a good hope you used? Heroism? Mark? 34? Um, you see something... F at the center of the swirling golden magic... There is an unmoving, disembodied, floating stone head. Hmm. The stone head looks like this. Hmm. Are you um, concentrating on the stone head at the center of the colossal golem? Yeah, the colossal stone head golem? looks like the thing that would make the spell come out. Okay. Um, you see the stone head. Give me a fortitude save versus becoming blind. Ashoka has just looked at a god. Let's stop buffing. <laughs> well, Ashoka is... Uh, will be hilarious blind. <laughs> um, Alright, so fortitude save. Uh, is this a poisonous blind effect? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, um... So, <laughs> uh, right. It's like, what's in there? Oh, God! Yes, Some it is a God. This thing. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, uh, along with the knowledge that it has a single 10th level spell left in its repertoire, the last 10th level spell it will ever cast. Um, you are struck and blind by this knowledge. Oh, be very careful. I... Well, we're... I will warn people to be careful, and then I'm going to basically... fly to get my... Like, I'm going to try to, like... 
I won't land, but just fly a little bit. Okay. Just, just, just out of game. We have resources and time on our hands here. Let's not go away. Back to Vatapol. Put a couple talents out. Get like five sacrifices. <laughs> Bring them back and yep. hand them over. We can. Yeah, no, for sure. It's also not the summit of the mountain. You're just kind of in the shadow of the summit of the mountain. There are some structures up here. We're at the garden. <clears throat> can this thing be snuck attack? You don't know. Um, you can stop to think about it, though. So Ashoka's like, be very careful. Be very careful. <laughs> and no one can see the current state that Ashoka is in, Damien. Yep. Uh, Damien is going... Everyone's still around? Everyone's yep. still standing and facing the thing. The thing is pointing at the ground. Given Ashoka's warning, good hope seems like a good spell to cast. Okay, is there an, a range? I guess you couldn't get Ashoka because no. Ashoka's... There is a range. Yeah, yeah. It's... Good hope, plus two, plus two. Boom, yep. okay. Yep. Just this rumble from, like, ever. there's still, like, small rocks going up the hill in the wrong direction and kind of swirling around the, the, the elemental. The elemental hasn't fused into one piece. Like, it's still kind of swirling and moving. Sid? Sid's gonna hide. Fuck this. <laughs> okay. Is 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 this thing like he's gonna move and like move and hide? Sure. This thing still follow him. Uh, it can. Uh, it can roll. It can take twenties on its uh on its d twenty rolls. So. Seventy four. In its current form, it gets a thirty nine automatically. Seventy four. Okay, you are hiding from the elder colossal earth elemental. <laughs> it's a bad feeling. <laughs> Magnus. Sid won't go home. <laughs> uh, Magnus going to drink his mutagen. Okay. This reminds me of old time. Good time. <laughs> <laughs> or are we going to go around flank it from the right while you flank it from the left? <laughs> says says, uh, says Tronogod. He's swing. He's like, ah, just give me a second here and see how hard I can hit it. They're making noise, right? Yep. Provide your sacrifice here. Place, place the living creature upon this stone. So that its blood can rejuvenate all of creation. How many sacrifices do you demand? It says, it considers for a moment. One of your ilk will suffice. It says with a sense of finality. I knew I should have brought you these ladies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it waits. We'll call it delaying. Okay. Uh, Tronogosh. Don't. Ashoka, what the hell is going on? Why isn't it attacking? We need to leave. Why is Drake on my fucking potions? <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't move, Tronagosh. Oh, all right. Uh, Sid, here's if Tronagosh was less likable, he'd be splattered right now on the blood of the stone of sacrifice. But I like him. I yeah, know, so do I. Ashoka's blindness did not fade after one round. Nope. No. Okay, does Sid hear that combo these guys had? Or not? Sid, Sid, it, Sid is well beyond hearing even a conversation that they're having. The whole mountain shaking and rocks are flying around. Sid, and Sid, you, could, you could hear it saying stuff in weird languages, but... Sid, Sid's gonna back off. It's not Sid's turn. It is Tronogosh's oh, okay. turn. Uh, Tronogosh is gonna delay or, or ready. Yeah, to the, the two back. the two heads of Tronogosh are reading independently. Uh, Shoka, you can see, kind of looking past the creature. There's 
I can't see nothing. Oh, that's right. You can't see. Yeah. Can't see goddamn thing. Uh, and Sid flew. The, like, I don't know where Sid is. Shoka's gonna. I guess it's uh, it's half speed when you're blind. Yep. Double move into the noise, or he's gonna move into the noise. Okay, so you end up bumping into Toronto Gosh. Hey, something touch me. Take my hand, we're going to the beach. Uh, and I'm gonna. Whoever's left behind, have Sid take them to the boat. Okay, so you double move, Damien. I, I moved and I readied. Okay. Um, I'm over here. I know you can't see me, but try to. <laughs> Attack whoever's holding your hand. Yeah. No, he moves over towards the noise that is Ashoka. <laughs> okay. Him, I guess. Yeah, okay, so it takes you, um, we'll see, um, two rounds to grab him. Like two actions, you kind of float forward, and you're trying to find him and try to find him. It's two invisible people, like two ships passing in the night. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, Damien is now touching Ashoka. Okay, found so is, and Chernogosh is touching Ashoka. Yep. Okay, so I'm taking two. This is my max teleport load. Okay, so Ashoka's ready to action goes off. Yep. <laughs> it could have been you. I was, it was. Didn't you have to double move to get there? It's, no, it was a single move. I'm flying. Okay. Okay, Sorry. so are you taking Tronogosh, Damien, and yourself back to the beach? Yep. Okay, so you teleport. Uh, give me a percentile. It's a beach you've seen once. We were on the beach. Okay, you could see the boat and the beach and the launch that you guys had. And... Go get, get Sid. <laughs> I told you how to get home. Get Sid to use the hey. sigil. Hey, Sid, you asshole! <laughs> Sid, what are you doing? Yeah, Sid just doesn't have a good feeling about this. He's gonna back off and and get back to where he. Well, also, he saw half the party. <laughs> uh, he didn't. I don't think he can see these guys. Well, so trying to gosh, at least. <laughs> Is going, Sid hasted? Yep. Okay, so. He's close to. Are you hiding or are you letting Magnus oh, know hiding. that you are flying back towards him? Uh, yeah, Magnus. Well, he, he's hiding from the thing. Sid's hiding from the thing. Okay. Primarily as this thing. And he's going to try to get back. Did okay. Sid see all that shit? Sid saw Tronogosh disappear. Okay, so he's going to head. Yeah, he's flying back. Okay, give me your stealth. The Elder Elemental in his current form gets 39. I already have more than that. Okay, so you're stealthing. Yeah, um, 60 something. Hey guys, I was the first one to see a god in the mortal realm. Ah, uh, in this group. Fuck, fuck Arlen, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Oh, damn it. Uh, Magnus, what are you doing? Uh, hey, Sid! And he's backing, backing off. <laughs> he's like, uh, the fuck? With... He's starting to look back to see what the trail was. <laughs> uh, you get the sense that it is going to start moving forward. Only one person remains. It must be the sacrifice. Magnuses, but you get you you deep DC five sense motive check. It is now going to charge. Uh, all right, let's get the fuck out of. Oh, I see the pants down. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> so you you could start to like jump and and like try to jump fall no, down, no, or are you just, are you are you just running? Are you are you running down the side like where there are stairs and stuff? Uh, my, I don't have a. I don't. I take a negative from. Um, what's it called? Uh, difficult train. You don't take. A, you let's yeah. down by difficult yeah, train. Yeah, you can fucking. And gravity will certainly speed you up. 
You could definitely run down these awkward stairs all the way to the cliff's edge, and then it, there's the decision of I'm what... the cliff's edge! You... <laughs> okay, so you're running down to the cliff and stopping? Yeah. Okay, yeah. your new boots, they're, they're, they're like the best Maybe. treads ever. It's like, yeah, they don't look bad. What, Fuck! 20 d6 <laughs> damage from a fall is not that scary. <laughs> okay, the thing doesn't seem to even be bothered by the earth. It is just gliding through it. It's still visible it is, as it's coming down. Uh, it... Oh, Jesus. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it moves to here with, with, a, with amazing <laughs> speed. Like the earth elemental, even though it's touching the earth, is flying through the earth. <laughs> Rocks are tumbling up towards it, but then now tumbling are, de are tumbling down the hill, and there's an avalanche that's coming with it. Like, there's a, like, V-like avalanche happening here. Which is, the, the, you, you, you can't hear anything, it's, uh, there's no talking. <laughs> Fuck you, Ashoka! <laughs> Sid? I don't think I can reach Pretty Boy from here. Um, let's see. Flying run. You move at times four movement. Flying run? Yep. Which will put you in the path of the avalanche. He's going to be over here. Okay. You're kind of off the side of the cliff then. Yeah, and makes himself visible to Magnus as a, bir as a, as a birdie bird. Oh, uh, can Sid as a bat... Use the word of recall. What is the name of this power? Uh, I'm word. <laughs> no, this is called oh. shadow. Ooh, it's an alchemist power. Shrine walk. No, no, no. This is a uh, advanced. So a shrine can create. Is a spell like ability. So no. Word of recall requires a verbal component. Okay, so. He flies to a branch. Okay. And you uh, are you are twenty feet away from the cliff and fifteen feet down. There's half a mountain or like the half a ruined city coming down. Like this thing is just pulling it through with some great gravity. Um, okay. You, so, it, uh, it, it can now no it can now no longer like just see you but Magnus if he's paying attention to the little bat that's on a branch could potentially see you okay so can he make himself visible to Ma like like Magnus in his like jump pad yes <laughs> okay his midair jump pad like grab hold asshole <laughs> okay so there's like a a bunch it's dragging a bunch of the ruins with it like it's it's coming. Alright. Magnus is gonna aim at a flying bat and he's gonna try to catch it. <laughs> okay. Uh Magnus, you see the little bat, the whole place is coming apart. The elder colossal elemental is chasing you. There's some voice inside that is demanding something bad. And uh <laughs> you're, you're jumping? <laughs> Definitely going, for <laughs> <laughs> going for the bat. <laughs> okay, so you've got a readied action while you're jumping to try to grab a hold of Sid. Okay. Yeah. You what it... tried, I hope this is the right bat. You gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. The... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is bad. You you have to jump out because it's on a branch, so you have to jump out really far, and then you're gonna be tumbling and hitting, and you, like you're gonna fall basically hundreds of feet. Uh, doesn't Sid get to go before all that happens? Well, no. Magnus goes. He jumps and he's falling, and you're gonna try to grab Sid as you're as you haven't quite hit the ground yet. Well, first give me an acrobatics check for your jump. See if you can't look, grab Sid. Look for the one. <laughs> Plus the DC of the acrobatics check to get you in a good arc is 20. I don't... 
27. So yeah, you launch yourself off the side of the cliff and like, oh, fuck gravity. Um, and as you go whipping by Sid, you, you're ready to action as you're trying to grab him. So give me a, uh, a CMB check. Grappling Sid. Is Sid... 20, uh, Sid, Sid. Wait, could I use my villain point? Yes. Oh. What would... Okay, if, if, if they get you... Man, you can't be mad at me, Ahmed. <laughs> you had a way out of this. <laughs> what What would you like to happen, um, uh, Demon Lord Nemi? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to fuck up his role to jump? Or are you trying to fuck up his role to uh, CMB? Is it an action for the elemental? Oh. <laughs> like to let it go outside its turn or like that standard action just get a standard yeah you could be standard action the elemental gets to move make him fall oh he's already falling that, that's a given him and him, he's grabbing. He's grabbing Sid, and the he's two of them are going to fall like like several hundred feet together. They're going to enjoy the <laughs> enjoy the rocky bottom. <laughs> no villain point is required for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would let you let the avalanche uh, happen sooner. Like they're going to fall and hit the ground, and the avalanche is going to be immediately on top of them. Immediate action, the avalanche, to be really fast. I deserve the fuck you, Ashoka. <laughs> <laughs> he willingly fell. Like, he, he's like, yep. right, he's jumping off the cliff, right? He's like, oh! And try to grab it a little bad as he's going by. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'd like to know how we're spending the villain point. Or if I'm at over there, so you don't need to spend the villain point. That will work. <laughs> okay. Okay. So yeah, you are Indiana Jones split second right before the the uh, the avalanche, but there's there's a a sea of rock coming down on top of your heads. Um, now give me the CMB check. Let's figure out what Sid's CMD is. So, Sid... That's a, that's not that high. Well, let's figure it out. And then is Sid allowing himself to be grabbed or not? Yes. Okay. So, let's figure out what his CMD would be without being... Without allowing. His CMD is... Um, He's about to eat a bunch of damage. <laughs> I, I, so, seven... I kind of imagine Magnus just pushing Sid beneath him while he's falling down. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hit first, you fucking thing! <laughs> you know what's funny? Uh, Magnus is about to get a feather fall. Yeah. <laughs> well, feather fall is done out of uh, is done as an immediate action. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know how you drink feather, feather falls. falls aren't immediate action. That's right. Drink it. That's right. Uh, yeah, so Magnus would... He wanted to ring a feather. Okay, contest. are you calculating a CMD for uh, Sid or not? Uh, yeah, it's 18. 18? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so give me a roll, Magnus, as you're... You rolled a 9. Uh, I did. I rolled a 9. nine. And then so add... Plus, plus 22. Okay, right, so the there's this weird point. grapple as you, as you grab Sid and... <laughs> You're willingly falling off the cliff. There's just too much. You hit the side of the cliff, and now you're falling again. You hit again, and um, let's see how many bounces there are to the bottom. Uh -oh. Two. That's not bad. The first bounce looks like it's about... <laughs> Forty feet down, and then the other bounce is basically two hundred feet. So you and Sid both take twelve damage. Okay. Uh, 
you know what? Just arbitrarily 200 feet is kind of mean. There is a bit of a slope here. I'm going to roll um, 4d100 to see how far it is before you actually smack to the bottom. Yeah, we did. <laughs> well, good thing it maxes out. Okay, from the fall, from the second fall, uh, both Sid and Magnus take 65 points of damage. You know, that, that distance was almost enough that they didn't finish falling. That could have been high enough that they don't actually fall in D&D &D physics that far. Yep. They go 600 feet per round. 77 damage. Okay. Very happy. <laughs> uh, both Magnus and Sid need to make a fortitude save unless they have any way of reducing the 65 damage. Uh, I think um, Magnus is... Magnus that's is not fine. half. Uh, it's not half. No, sorry. That, that's Sid's save then. So Sid, Sid saves. Yep. Sid Sid's fine. Magnus. All right. Now let's look at an avalanche. Uh, 8d6 or something like that. A mountain of rock has now tumbled on top of Magnus and Sid. This this is Acme, like the Looney Tunes. The, the anvil falls off them. No, it's only 86 damage, and they do get a reflex You're save. You're the coyote, FYI. <laughs> okay, for 34 of points of damage, DC 15 reflex save. Ooh. Oh, don't, yeah, you want to make that reflex save. So, Magnus... How much is it? DC 15. So Magnus makes it. Sid's got to Sid make it. Do they both have evasion? Uh, I think so. Yes. Sid has evasion. Magnus has ability evasion. Okay, so Magnus hit the ground and, S and Sid hit the ground kind of... Kind of you're like, oh, you both look up, you see this mountain of rock. Magnus is, is as he's rolling towards the mountain, kind of like in a little bit of a, like a crack, um, Sid managed to roll into Magnus's hand and he pulled him into kind of like a, into like a fetal position, guarding his head. And the two of you, um, as a monstrous amount of rock goes flying by, uh, do you both have evasion? That was, the answer was yes? Yeah. Okay, well then you avoid the 34 points of damage apiece. As rocks come tumbling down. The... Yep. <laughs> okay. So it's got like, what, five hit points left? Uh, 20. 20? Yeah. That 20 is... 34 is more than 20. Colossal Elder is coming down. He travels 120 feet down through the rock side and is just kind of like gliding down along the rock side looking down at you. It, it, it kind of like positioned itself sort of like at an angle like this. You will be the sacrifice. You're, you're Robo Marty now. Uh, it is coming down the mountainside in about um, 200 feet away from you. All right, Sid's turn. Turn into Sid. Swift action, turn into Sid. Standard action, word of recall. Try off. Swift action, turn into Sid? Yes. Swift action, you can turn back into Sid. Um, as a feat, uh, give me a second here. Yes, he can change shape into a bestial form as a standard action. A moment here. Skinwalker can return to her humanoid form as a swift action. Okay. Swift action, Sid's hu being hugged by Magnus. I like all my balls. <laughs> <laughs> and then Shrimp. Okay, and then the two of them go wisping out of this place and returning into the room all beat up and hurt and like broken bone, like shattered bones and, uh... and feeling like absolute <laughs> snot. Sid's healing starts kicking in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go back to conversation. All of your, all of your tokens are there. Uh, oh, Magnus is in, in uh, wide. Magnus comes out of the room all bloody and shit. Do you have any cannons? Aim it at the bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you.
you one talent to fire a shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so Sid and, and Magnus are actually on the boat uh, before um, Jamie and Ashoka and Tronogosh. They're at the beach. Um, you can see like just this distance of a little bit of smoke coming from a mountaintop. It's hard It's hard to see the mountain. Like the... Uh, um, it's like 60 miles away inland. You just kind of see the mountain. How far away... Actually, I'm not blindly dimension dooring anywhere. Yep. Lead me by... <laughs> lead. Uh, they should be at the boat in a few moments. That's where we should head. Um, Damien. Oh, uh, Damien's got dimension. Is this about the end of our day? <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, I can't see anything. Uh, Shoko dismisses the invisibility. Um, I th All right. well, the, head back. I don't know if you fully fathom. That creature had tenth circle magic. Don't, don't, don't be ridiculous. This, 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 you're, you're mistaken, clearly. No. Um, staring into the face of a god has burned my eyes. I... Really so want Sid to make it out of there. Back to the ship. Back, back to the ship. Back to the ship. Yes, back to the ship, and then maybe back to the battle pool for a sacrifice. Okay, what or is? we go around it, there, there was a ledge that we could just. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How are you getting back to the ship? Get in the boat. Okay. We're, 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 is going to just row us. Yeah, he 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 picks you up, puts you in the boat, and. Oh, something's wrong with your eyes. Did you get some of that rock in your eye? I bet he got some of the rock in his eye. It was very dusty up there. Uh, very dusty, yes. No, I've, I've, um... I stared too hard at something very bright. No. It should go away by morning. Oh, that doesn't sound too pleasant. You coming along, Damien? We can see your, your tracks in the sand. Uh, yeah, he dismisses his invisibility. There he is. Hey, that was pretty smart. You looking for the sand? Well, I just saw it. It came to me that it was probably Damien. Good thing you appeared and talked back. It might have been a, a skull for us to hit. <laughs> and chuckling at that as they're rowing quickly back to the boat. As you're leaving... You notice that there's a ripple and wave through the jungle that seems to be coming down and kind of shaking it's, the jungle. It's coming for its sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> and all the trees kind of... <laughs> there was a tremor. Like, you, you teleported and beat the tremor here. We beat, we beat the, the geological event. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It would have sucked to be that. I mean, there would have been shaky and violent and painful. <laughs> when you get back to the boat, there's a, a, like, lying on the fucking deck looking all injured, or a Magnus and a Sid, sipping on Sid's potions, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's one here serious and a couple of lights. Okay. They're, they're still looking beat up, and they're kind of whining about the pain. The captain is, uh... Hey, uh, everything all right? Is that a tremor? Yeah, tremor. I might as well get the fuck out of here. Stop sailing, go. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right. Captain sees, like, they wait for Tronogosh and Ashoka. No, uh, they'll be fine. You can just go now. <laughs> <laughs> catch up. He's strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, they, they seem to start to be getting ready. Uh, they, they don't mind moving along. Uh, Tronogosh, Ashoka, Damien, uh, their launch meets meets to the boat, and uh, they're being helped aboard. Uh, some of the soldiers are like, it's never it's never good to be at sea near a place where the land shakes, says an, says an old sailor. I go out to sea, away from the land. Okay. Good thing your crew is not invested in this place. They didn't come aboard. They uh, they pull up their anchor, and pretty soon you are sailing 
uh, kind of around the island. So, what the hell is that about? Care to explain? <laughs> Everything turned out all right. Um, I no can't... fuck face. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> else would be you dead. Can't... Magnus, I can't see. <laughs> well, why did you say something? I can't see. No, 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 no. You should have said something like, Everyone get the fuck out! I told you to get out. I told you to get out, and I told you how. I don't know if he's not I stupid. I don't know why you're complaining. Because you left me on the side of a fucking mountain! <laughs> I left you with Sid on the side of a mountain. I'm not I sure what you mean, Dan. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the... The, uh, the Earth... The... The earthquake, ha or sorry, the landfall happened earlier than it should have. That was the point spend. Uh, unfortunately, the two of them, or fortunately uh, for them, either way, uh, they were able to evade uh, the uh, avalanche. It would have killed was, Sid. It it was if rocks. Sid it, yeah, it was. Yeah, if Sid failed his saving throw, he was it basically you forced to save or die. Well, and then Magnus would have then been just under rock. Yeah, rock, and oh, then he ways. couldn't fucking get out, and he would have suffocated to death, or the elemental would have earth glided up to him and pounded the crap out of him. Sacrificed him. So it was effectively a two saves versus death for one villain point, which was very uh, economical. It is not a guaranteed bad thing or good thing. And and now we are quite clear the demon lord Nem hates Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> that part is clear. <laughs> so, it's around with me. Magnus, um, uh, apologies, Captain. Uh, we should retire to our quarters for a brief conversation. Uh, sure. We'll be heading out to sea. Uh, I think the old gaffer there is right. Uh, we don't want to be anywhere near land. Um, earth shakes can create big waves. Yes. Uh, do as you see fit. Uh, mm. Ashoka's going to make his way to the cabin. Yep. Yeah. He the the. Damien will guide him by the video. Thank you. Thank you, Damien. Uh, Sid, uh, Magnus. Chronogosh is looking into the cabin. Did it sit uh, down in front of it? Oh, let me look. All right. I'm not kind of doing this. <laughs> Hashtag get in life. <laughs> <laughs> so, the being inside the rock, there was a floating head. The floating head had a broad nose. Um, one second. Oh, no, that's not the right one. It's the... Uh, there. Uh... Being had a, a broad nose, uh, squinty eyes, a large headdress. It was speaking about something obsidian, um, an obsidian god uh, with which it demanded sacrifice. Uh, the headdress had multiple animal markings on multiple faces. It was very angular. Um, it had a single. Okay. It, it had a single. Sketcher. Tenth circle spell in its repertoire and was felt starved of magic. Um, I believe it was the last, with no followers. last remnant of an old god. Um, I don't know what it could have done, but I assume it would have been something great and terrible. Damien, you can give me your bardic knowledge roll, because I assume that's the thing that's going to happen. <laughs> yes. Part of what I'm, um, looking for, I'm looking for that, and I'm looking for maybe a sketch of it. Um, so, so Marty, you, uh, Sid is using the motifs that he saw on the statues on the way up. Yep. As part of, I say, like, so remember the statues 
like wider nose, smaller, you know, wider eyes, bigger, like bigger circle, like using that. <laughs> I you, can't you, see you though. No, no, but you remember what the things, the statues were, right? That the statues on the way up. That's what he was describing. Yep. Yeah. Like... Damon, you're you're at a loss. Like this thing was really weird. It had weird feathers and weird colors and geometric shapes that don't kind of match up with gods that you know as the old gods on Tarak. It just doesn't fit. Um, um, Sid is able to make very and a very accurate um just like sketch of what ashok is describing hmm. and he seems to have the skills with charcoal and and uh and and paper to like smudge things to redraw them to adjust small features and sid is basically with a 36 is trained like a like a like a sketch artist he's like one of those parisian guys on the street that's like oh, yep. <laughs> yeah yeah uh, <laughs> cartoon characters <laughs> Uh, caricatures, yeah. Is this your god riding a skateboard? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with more rocks coming down. Draw a little Magnus here. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is accurate now. All right. Um... No god from any old pantheon that you know of. Um, um... All right. First things first. We'll get that tadpole. We'll get you your sight back. I, I did take a peruse through Sid's book. He has the appropriate I formula. I can, I can make a potion for you in the morning. Ow. <laughs> Sorry, that was my rib poke in my lungs. Second thing we'll do is we'll stop by the market and find ourselves a suitable sacrifice. Uh, the network side is cool enough to get your hand stream. You might be welcome. Yes, um, that is of not possibility. Alternately, we can uh, try to go around it if it goes if it returns to slumber. <sighs> yes, or if we can't find something in the market, maybe we will just buy a sofa. <coughs> yeah, I I agree. I also feel that uh, we should. What's the purpose? You give it a sacrifice, and then what? It might ask for something else. What about destroying this damn thing? Uh, tenth circle magic. Yes. Uh, sorry. Um, mortal magic is limited to the ninth circle. There's an exponential increase in spell complexity, which makes it uh, near impossible for mortals to pass that threshold. It has tenth. Tenth is greater than ninth. So do I need a bigger sword? Or uh, more no, swords? No, 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 It is a waste of resources. So all what the if potions? You do, 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 think of all the potions and spells we could use trying to beat this thing, or. For 500 gold pieces, they pick up some poor wretch from the side of the road and hand him over to Big Rocky. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> well, well, what do they ask you for more? I mean, you've, maybe you haven't dealt with this kind of garbage before, but uh, God or no God, I've seen this bullshit. Oh, I only take one. Oh, now I want two. I want four now. Okay, it's not a child asking for candy. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not the little God. <laughs> if... Oh, we we shouldn't sacrifice it too. No, I, I was, that wouldn't be great. No. We can my, try to go. My right. thing is, you should just sacrifice one. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just one. Here we come, says two. So we're we're out of uh, we're out of the running. Mm. Don't worry, right. Tronagosh. Sacrificing. You never crossed my mind. Oh, well, that's good. We're, we're all friends here. Of course. Did they bob their heads in agreement? Yeah, yeah I see they all bobbed their heads in agreement. Uh, uh, Ashok is very obviously bobbing his head. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. He can't see. You know, um, You're good to fight alongside, yeah. So, uh, Damien. A 
Ashok is going to say a couple words in High Imperial. You speak. Okay. You speak the proper tongue, yes. What if we could train it? It's really hungry. I don't know if we'd be allowed to keep it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> What's he saying? I don't know. I this, don't. They're speaking highfalutin. Oh, you don't speak highfalutin. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Marty's excuse to make jokes all night long, apparently. <laughs> I talk to myself in some strange cockney. <laughs> This character is fun. <laughs> it is so Maybe awesome. This time, <laughs> right. Just get exploded. Uh, this will require some planning. Just getting around. Mm, yeah, yeah. First, we'll worry about getting around it. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not opposed to acquiring it if we can. Obviously. <laughs> mm. At a minimum, once we find a way to get you to move more freely in the world, it would be a good place to remove your foes if it was difficult. Yes, I seem to agree. Don't worry, Magnus. We're not talking about you behind you, in front of you. <laughs> there was just some sensitive discussion Chornogosh looks behind Magnus they look behind themselves they look back they shrug yeah, Magnus is like whatever so how does it feel to be uh, out in the world again Magnus fresh ocean air few scuffs of battle. Gravity. Got to go for a jog. <laughs> Gravity. Oh, did you you fell off the mountain, did you? Yeah, thanks to you. <laughs> I just said grab my hand. I did not know who grabbed it. He <laughs> winks at <laughs> Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not too happy about the cliff. Just, uh, we better make we all have better plans. The next time you know something, you better tell us. I, I said all I could. I also didn't know how much it would understand. It was hesitating. Demanding sacrifice, as I said. Oh, right. I <clears throat> no, I didn't tell you it was demanding sacrifice. It was... I said it was... I told you that it wanted sacrifice once you got back. Uh, yeah. That's not... It's not good. No, it's not good. It, what's an old god? Right. Well, most old gods demand sacrifice. Did you get what you needed on that island? Uh, not quite. We're going to need to go back to it. Although, I think it's a good time to rest on the boat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I agree. Okay. Um, but an hour and a change later, uh, the sailors are really excited as there's a big wave coming their way. Oh, no. Batten down the hatches, boys. <laughs> But I can't see yet. I can't see. I don't want to be in the water. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Can Sid make... Uh, I can use one of my higher level potions or extracts. Yep. Make a lower one. Yeah, yes. Make one for uh, uh, Shoka. If ones. you have one that is open. I, have, I haven't used any of my four. Oh, you, you leave them all open? Yeah, I don't make them. Okay, so in the meantime, you, them all. you uh you use one of your higher level slots to. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, well, sure, wait, do, sure, no, it's, it's uh, it's starred. It is starred. Oh. It is starred. So yeah, oh, if, I can't if, if see. It's starred, it. If it's starred, it's made. I don't want to be. All right, uh, Magnus, uh, you hear the crew is excited about something as there's a big wave coming this way. They're gonna have to try to navigate the big wave. Um, okay. Are you helping out? Uh, we already rolled that you uh, rolled a nat 20 earlier um, uh, with your profession sailor you and got us 24 sailor. and we're able to help out. Basically, you're looking, they're looking for people to help aid to guide they the ship. They know you can help. Sure, I'll go and help. Okay. It's like a, not quite tsunami, but it's like a miniature tsunami as, as like something happened after you left on the island that caused a, a minor earthquake and, and now the... The surrounding, uh, the surrounding seas are rough. Okay, uh, Captain B. Confidence is that everyone who can hear? Yep. Okay, so Damien will go and inspire confidence. Okay, is Ashoka doing anything when uh, he hears that there's a wave coming? Uh, Ashoka is going to. Uh, Tell my ego I love me. <laughs> uh, he's 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 gonna de he's gonna detect thoughts and <laughs> fucking spy on the crew <laughs> to figure out what the hell's going on by thinking about what people are thinking. Okay, um, <laughs> that there is a big wave coming and uh, they're having an argument of whether they turn sideways to let the wave go over them or if they go directly into it. Into it. Uh, uh, there are a couple. There, there are a couple people that are trying to say we'll ride it, as in we'll turn the boat around and let it push us in the opposite direction. Uh, Tronagash, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, Tronagash is gonna help. Go help because he's also he's got sa he does sailory things, or at least he rows a boat. I don't know if he's. All right, he can attempt to help. Um, he's got his wisdom check. Oh, if he's just uh, he's if, 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 if he doesn't know anything about sailing, then no, he's gonna make certain. Just choke it doesn't drown. Uh, the um, Damien's uh, also going to cast heroism on the captain. Okay, cool. That will affect the bonus. Um, and uh, Tronagash's wisdom is a plus one, and he would gain a plus additional plus two from uh, the Good Hope or the Hero. Or is it a Good Hope? No, the the Inspire Competence that's going on. Is that plus two or plus three, Mark? I think it's plus three. I'll double check. Magnus, give me a d20. Uh, profession Sailor, as you're trying to aid, or are you taking the lead? Uh, from who? From the you captain. Should, you should try to aid. I'm aiding. I'm not taking the lead. Okay. Tornagosh is a little bit worse than Magnus. Uh, Tornagosh aids. Okay, Tornagosh is pulling on plus ropes. Plus three? And... Uh, plus three. Wow. Okay, uh, you don't aid, but you don't hinder. You're just not pulling on the right ropes. Magnus has his sword and his armor on. Okay. Yeah. You, right. Um, okay. So Cap Captain Beechwood <laughs> and his crew have a plus 14. With Tronogosh's aid, that's a plus 2. That's 16. With Damien's um, uh, bard song, that's a plus 19. With his um, good hope on the captain, no, the heroism on the captain, that's plus 21. The DC is 25. Go ahead and roll the plus 21. Uh, what's it, Magnus is the sacrifice, so I'm going to have Ahmed roll the D20 plus 21. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right on the nose. <laughs> If it wasn't for Tronogosh pulling ropes when other when others could not, uh, if it wasn't for Damien acting uh, acting and inspiring the crew when some of them just wanted to run and hide and thought that they could go below deck uh, to um, uh, to get away from the wave, the right call was to turn the ship into the wave and ride it up and try to get over the crest. There was a point where the ship was like this trying to ride up the wave and eventually it kind of kind of rode down and crashed over the top and the wave is actually heading towards the uh 
uh, towards the island. I was trying to bring us back. Yep. And then it seems to be smooth sailing after that. In fact, you 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 traveled as fast as you've ever tra- traveled on a boat as you were kind of riding down uh, riding down the descending ocean. Uh, as the tsunamis tend to hit in inland. I I'm not dead yet. <laughs> uh, the captain seems really relieved that they're gone, but he gives you a look like we're not going back there. Like we're we're not going back there. Um, there's a bit of choppy sea as you start to jig against the westerly winds and uh, soon you're just somewhere at sea away from the island you feel the foreboding presence dimming in the distance fuck you (laughs) we should just keep the big Joel here anyway. <laughs> Just keep on appearing on his boat. <laughs> hey, what's up, Captain? <laughs> hey, that was quick thinking, Mark, to have Damien the Bard fucking jump in do it. Yep. <laughs> that came very close. Sail, sail, sail away. Uh, the captain takes off his takes off his uh, his hat, and well, Ashoka doesn't quite see it. He knocks on the door. Uh, everything everything's a little bit choppy, but. Um, um, uh, you mind telling us what all that was about? Mine have run in with the deity. Excuse me? Um, some rock monster um, was rather upset that it didn't get its sacrifice. He nods. So the old tales are true. Everyone died on that island a long time ago. Yes. Although there were these um, Grillians that were sort of acting civilized. Hmm. <laughs> ah, so yes, um, but not everyone. They somebody they the other sailors sacrificed sailors. We would not do such a thing. The pirates, on the other hand, apparently did. Okay. He says he seems concerned with that all that talk. Mm-hmm. I suppose pirates would have had prisoners, especially if they took a ship or two, or if there were any mm-hmm. mutineers or any ones that they wanted to get rid of. Mm-hmm. Don't think for a second that I've got any. No, I uh, wouldn't expect you to. That's not our business. Ashoka lies like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, the captain's paid, happy to be away. He's... He doesn't think you guys are going back. It sounds insane. Uh, well, we, we we it was three days. We yep. were three days. Like we were, you were lucky. We were almost ready to retrieve our launch and head back to Skelter, as agreed. Mm. Could you imagine you teleport back to the beach, boat wasn't there, and then a tsunami comes? <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck! Hey, what's wrong with the ocean? You guys are playing in tidal pools. <laughs> uh, it would be cast fly on the three decks to fly up. But we knew what was coming. Right. All of us with our combined ranks of zero in survival Just and knowledge nature. Oh, maybe Damien might have known. Does that look right to you? Yeah. Hey, look at all the little critters in this little sea pool and playing with a half dead shark and. Shoka likes being able to see. Just <laughs> <laughs> a little shaky. Yeah, uh, you guys. Are we going back to Skelter? Could we think about it until morning? Fine, I will set a general westerly course. Okay. He, he adjusts feet, you hear yells and adjusts course and kind of thing. And the soldiers are glad to be putting distance between them and the Isle of Golsa. Damien. Yes. I did see the ledge where I believe we should see the circle from. 
you do. Yes. 